Rich Rodriguez in 20th ranked Michigan, a home to UMass. The Minutemen ran for 150 yards, and Jonathan Hernandez rushed for two touchdowns in the first half. It had Michigan down 17-7. Then Denard Robinson finds Daryl Stoneham, and he does the heavy lifting on this one. From 66 yards out, they score with 112 to go, get within a field goal. Then after a turnover, they get it back, and it's that duo hooking up again. Stoneham in on the nine-yard scoring strike from Robinson. They score 45 seconds apart and grab the top side of the score board at the break. Later in the third quarter, same count. It's Michael Shaw breaking free from 34 yards away. Caps off a six-play, 69-yard drive. And Michigan had a 28-17 lead. Robinson accounted for 345 total yards and three touchdowns. He ran 17 times for 104 here in from eight yards out. This is an entertaining game and no gimme for the Wolverines as they hold on 42-37. House in Ann Arbor. Michigan and UMass, Denard Robinson leading the nation in uh, just about everything coming into the game and looking for another big one. He had one, but so did Jonathan Hernandez. Second touchdown of the game, UMass up 17 to seven at that point, looking to spring the upset. Hernandez ran for 114 yards, but Michigan strikes very quickly. Robinson, Daryl Stoneham, 68 yards for the touchdown. Michigan within three at 17 to 14. Stoneham had a huge game. Three catches, 121 yards, and two touchdowns. Next UMass drive, it's Josh Griffin stripped of the football by Jordan Kovacs. They did review it from this angle. It is clearly a fumble, and Michigan gets the ball back, and the Wolverines do capitalize. It is Robinson to Stoneham again. Robinson threw for 241, ran for 104 in this game. Michigan up 21-17 at the half. They're up 35-24 now. And it is Michael Shaw getting the running backs more involved in this game. Shaw over 10 yards of carry, although perhaps somewhat distorted here as he goes 50 on this play. But 12 carries, 126 yards, and three touchdowns. This would be the third touchdown of the game here. The Wolverines on top, 42 to 24 at that point. UMass did score the final 13 points of the game, but Michigan hangs on and wins it by the final of 42 to 37. They go over 500 yards of total offense for the second straight week. Robinson, another huge game, although his least spectacular of his three so far at Michigan, at least statistically. But again, get more from the running backs, and most importantly, they get the win. Head coach of the Wolverines, Rich Rodriguez, with our Lisa Byington. Hey, sports fans, I'm Ryan Walsh. Big dreams in the big house for the UMass football team. Playing in front of more than 100,000 fans, the Minutemen played the game of their lives. UMass taking on 20th ranked Michigan. First half, UMass running the ball well. Jonathan Hernandez takes it into the end zone. And UMass had a 17-7 lead. An upset was brewing. That touchdown came with one minute, 20 seconds left in the half. And Michigan was able to score twice in that time. Denard Robinson finds Daryl Stoneham. Michigan up by four at halftime. Second half, Michigan pulling away up 35-17. But UMass does not quit. Kyle Havens scores on a bootleg. Now 42-30, Havens finds Andrew Crevis for a score with two minutes to go. But UMass could not stop Michigan. And the Wolverines run out the clock. Michigan escapes. A 42 37 win. Quarter. 22 News talked to UMass head coach Kevin Morris after the game. Testament to the kids that had a chance to pack their bags again a couple times and didn't get fighting and battling. We'd like to have won the football game. So it's a road loss, but I think our kids certainly think that they can play with anybody. Next week, UMass plays at Stony Brook. An emotional day, to say the least, for members of the UMass Marching Band. Their band director, George Parks, had a heart attack and died on the trip. The band dedicated their halftime show to Parks and received a standing ovation.